Okay, back working on the old dump truck here. Got the hitch plate done a while back. It's uh, kind of rusted over a little bit. So I'm prepping it out right now for welding on the D-rings to uh, hold the chain keepers for the trailer. So I'll get this laid out and uh, ground up and buzz them on. I've put down on this machine. It's a Millermatic uh, 252. I've had it probably six, eight months now, but really haven't gotten to use it all that much. And MIG's never been my strong point anyway, so still learning my game here. There's our D-rings all welded on. Pretty happy with that. The last truck I didn't even measure them. I just kind of eyeballed them, slapped them on there. So my OCD is at ease a lot better today because I measured them and actually laid them out right. So moving on.
clearance on this side. Let me push it your way. What happened? It's all the way down? Yeah. yeah. You might have to spread him. Yeah, or not. As long as it's where it needs to be, I'm good. I can work. back out here since we got our bed on now we can finish getting her ready to mount we've got oh what is it one two three four five six so six each side 12 12 half inch holes to drill in this frame which is gonna suck I've been pricing out mag drills and I'm just not ready to commit to a mag drill but god would it be nice today Nothing to it but to do it. All right, get started. All right, well, uh, drilling heavier steel like this with a smaller drill, it's uh, always easier to start with a smaller bit. In this case, though, I've got uh, uh, a little bit of wiggle room in these holes that if I was to start with, say, a quarter inch bit, uh, it'd be very easy to miss center. When I try to take it up to the half inch size, then I could be off and it would be hard to drill or I could break drill bits. So the easiest thing to do is start out with your half inch first because it fits tight in that hole and we can use this hole like a guide and just run it for a second. And now I've got perfect center on that hole. So I could just take my quarter inch in there, knock out the center, and then jump back up to half inch. pain in the butt because I can't get the right angle to drill it. Uh, this tire is keeping me up at a weird angle with the drill. So uh, I, what I was able to do is use a shorter bit, like a 16th inch bit that only came up to like here. And I was able to get in there enough to knock the center of it out so I know where that hole's at. I'm going to go on the back side and drill through from the back side with the half inch. Holes are all drilled and it's time to bolt her on. I just got back from the hardware store with a big old nut sack and uh, we're gonna throw the bolts in.
Oh, now the bed's completely bolted on. And uh, throw the tailgate back on real quick. Oh yeah, I hope you can hear right now, the neighbor's cutting her grass, but uh, <clears throat> I put some new hydraulic lines on because the old ones weren't long enough. Put some abrasion wrap in spots where the uh, lines are going to contact the truck bed. I still got to put one over there where it passes through the cross member on the return line. But uh, there's a new pump all hooked up and everything. And now uh, I can't raise the bed until I got fluid in it, so I'm going to use a ye old bucket pump get the hydraulic oil up there to where she needs to be and never have me fall It's time to haul the first load with the uh, the new rig. Got her all loaded up. There's still some finishing touches and details to do, but uh, she's ready to go down the road. So we're gonna haul the old truck out to the farm and park it right next to the auto car.
at this point I guess I'm gonna call this build pretty much done there are some finishing touches I've got to do like uh, touch up the paint a little bit and charge the AC up all the way it blows cold but not real cold and then uh, stupid little stuff so I've pulled my excavator with this truck already too and it pulls awesome compared to that f700 uh, the 700 was a great truck for what I had in it and for the use I had when I got it but I've moved up to bigger and better things, and uh, it was time for a better, bigger and better truck, and uh, I think this will definitely suit my needs for a long time. Uh, so you'll be seeing this truck in a lot of my future videos. I use it pretty much all the time, so uh, real, real happy to have it in my arsenal. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the truck, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.